Hey guys, we're not good gamers. We're just, just good, good people, people who, who play like games. Game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try one more time. Right. Hey guys, we're not good gamers. We're, we're just, just good, good people, people who play games. Game. That's oh. right. <laughs> We are here today in Bangkok, Thailand for the second annual PlayStation Experience in Southeast Asia. Oh yeah! So thank you once again to PlayStation Asia for inviting us over. Last year we were at KL and this year we're here with a bigger team. Let's talk, more play, let's get inside the venue and let's have some fun guys. Let's do, let's do it, I gotta get that Resident Evil action right now. Look at the crowd, it's massive, it's huge. But you know what, we all got our media passes. So let's just get in and cut the queue, guys. Alright guys, so we have a good friend over here, all the way from the Philippines. Hi. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Glocko Gaming. Exactly. Oh, what games are you expecting from PSX? Okay, so for PSX, I'm really looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3 and also RE2. Which one? I don't know, they're gonna run the they're gonna get released in the same month. So I don't know which to play first. I'll, I'll make it easy for you, man. RE2. No, I'll make it easier for you, Kingdom Hearts 3. No, I, I, I'm just gonna play uh Fortnite, huh? Fortnite, yeah. Alright guys, so we're inside the hall right now. It's open to so just the media public will be coming in very soon. So before a lot of people are coming in, I'm gonna play my games now, right? So what games are you guys gonna play? I'm gonna play Sonic, which is over there. So I'm gonna play Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2 is a remake of the original game. And I'm gonna play the new game called Jump Force. Okay, uh, so you guys are here first. Uh, look pretty for the camera. Bye. What? Bye! Jump Force is a 3D fighting video game that has a huge roster from top manga heroes like Naruto, Goku, and Luffy. And for myself, being an anime fan, I am in awe to see these heroes come to life in this game. So I just finished playing Spider-Man. Honestly, it's as epic as ever. I've played Spider-Man since PS1. PS2, PS3, PS4 now, all the PS on every single console of PlayStation, I've played Spider-Man, that's my go-to game and this game just takes the full kick, honestly, the swinging mechanism, the combat, maybe I'm just a bit rusty but I, I kind of suck at the combat, it's pretty simple but I wish there was more combos that maybe I just haven't learned the game enough to learn new combos, so it's super cool, I'm gonna play again later if I have the chance on it. Alright guys, so the most anticipated game of the event, FIFA 19 is here but obviously we are not allowed to show any gameplay or any footage for that matter but you know, I'm going up against this guy right here. Tony intro, let's play. It's an ongoing battle. I'll just tell you how the results turn out to be. Yeah? Just give me like 5 minutes, he'll come out crying. He got your program, you know how the story goes. Easy peasy, win. So, Julian won by penalty. The thing is, it's still in development. It's still in development, And right. you can see a lot of the features that they mentioned haven't uh, added in. So there I was think no double tap kick. Yeah, so I would say this is not, no count. Lah. No, no count. count lah. Next time. It's next like time. a FIFA 18 plus. <laughs> That's what it is. We just tried FIFA 19. It was pretty different. I can definitely see the difference in the defense. And the players look different. The players, yeah. the way they look, it looks much smoother. And I think it's, it's pretty cool. So, I'm very excited to try FIFA 19. 12 years. 12 years, guys, since I last played Kingdom Hearts. It's finally here. Kingdom Hearts 3. Look at it. Let's talk. I'm gonna go play and give you my thoughts afterwards. You must be kidding me. Did you really think I could say no? I want you for a So like I said guys, it's been 12 years, 12 years since Kingdom Hearts came out and honestly, I was not disappointed. You know, I saw the trailer, there were a lot of things that happened in the trailer. There was Elsa, there was Jack Sparrow, there was even hints of Toy Story. And over here at PSX, they had two worlds. They had the Olympus world and they had the Toy Story world. And just these two worlds alone was enough to get me back into the whole Kingdom Hearts fantasy world again. I don't know, I feel like a kid again honestly. 
Alright guys, as I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest titles of this year's PSX is Resident Evil 2 and as expected, the crowd there was massive Honestly, it's really nostalgic for me So we're back here in the VIP room I got a chance to play the game slow and steady Resident Evil 2 is actually a remake of the survival horror game Resident Evil 2 which was released on the first ever PlayStation 20 years ago This game is set in a zombie apocalypse where the players have to solve puzzles and defeat zombies to survive Alright guys, you can see behind me, like I said, the crowd is just massive and everyone was all in the evil room. I played it by some of the VIP rooms, I can tell you guys. Now we came over here, it was super incredible. And when it comes for the shooting mechanism, it used to be just one headshot and they're down, right? But no, this time it took me like three headshots before they're confirmed dead. So it's really intense, it's really high speed. It was super fun. I think 45 minutes does not give it justice. I need to play more. I'll definitely be playing more Resident Evil. And it's quite a scary game, so I got kind of scared even though the environment wasn't that dark. But these people right here are in for a surprise, honestly. So we're here in front of the Sekiro Shadow Die twice. So this game is brought to you from the guys of From Software and these are the guys that created Bloodborne and Dark Souls. So you know that this game is going to be very dark and deep and intense. So what's inside here is that they're going to show me a gameplay video which has never been seen in the outside world. That was epic. Okay guys, so here's my thought of it, okay? Imagine Hanzo from Overwatch was put with Spider-Man's fighting mechanics and Assassin's Creed atmosphere. Honestly, it was full of action, it was full of stealth, it was full of fatal combat. It was so intense, I actually loved it. You know what? I didn't expect to love it that much, but after seeing the gameplay, I really want to play right now. Firewall Zero Hour is a 4v4 team-based tactical VR shooter where players must work together to either protect or obtain data. So guys, we're at PSX 2018 and we're about to play Overcooked 2. Overcooked 2 is a cooking simulator game where teams of up to 4 players cooperatively prepare and cook orders in absurd restaurants. This question is from the fans from Singapore. Okay. The real question is um, Android or iOS? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're both holding iPhones, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so that concludes our time here at PlayStation Experience. It was so fun, I'm so tired, I'm so beat. What was your favorite part of the event guys? My favorite part of the event was me. Any chance I got to play RE2? I was playing RE2 man, I was raised on Resident Evil. I guess my favorite was playing Firewall because it was my first ever VR game and I swear it was so fun, I'm like now super open to playing every other VR game out there. My favorite was definitely Kingdom Hearts because of the key blades that were in the game. How about you? Overcooked because I look forward to playing with my family. Okay, for me, surprisingly, FIFA 19 was a given but when I played Jump Force, dude, it was like anime, Overload man, honestly, I'm so excited to play Jump Pass. Alright guys, so thank you once again to PlayStation Asia for having us over. We look forward to next year's PlayStation experience and until then guys, remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video and comment down below what was your favourite part of the PlayStation experience. Let's do it, do it. Do it.